Hi everybody, this is Alan Elman, the Blue Collar Investor, welcoming you to the Beginner's Corner Information Series, which is an eight-part video series describing the building blocks necessary to master the great strategy called Covered Call Writing. In Lesson 1, we're actually going to define what is Covered Call Writing, and we're going to give you an introduction and preview example. So let's first talk about what exactly is covered call writing. Well, it's an investment strategy that combines two other strategies. One is stock ownership, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with, and the other is option selling. And if you'll notice on the screen, I've highlighted the word selling. So we first purchase a stock for a debit, and then we sell an option for a credit. Now a stock, as you probably know, is a unit of ownership in a corporation, while an option is a contract. And that contract gives the option buyer the right to buy or sell shares of stock. Let's take a look at the three words involved in this strategy, covered, call, and writing. Covered means that we first buy the stock before we sell the option. This puts us in a covered or protected position, and we'll show you why it's so important to first own the stock as we progress in this series. Next the word call, which is the definition of the type of option that we're selling. We're selling the right, but not the obligation, for the option buyer to purchase our shares from us. And finally, writing. That means we are selling the option not buying it. So let's make all this come to life with a preview example. First remember we have to buy the stock before we sell the option. So we're going to purchase 100 shares of BCI Corporation for $28 per share. And that creates an investment of $2,800. Now the reason I say 100 shares is because one options contract consists of 100 shares of stock. So if we were going to sell one call option, we must first own 100 shares of that stock. Five contracts, we need to own 500 shares. In our preview example, we'll stick to 100 shares. So once we own these shares, we then sell the call option. And we decide on the price that we're willing to sell it and the date that we're willing to sell it. So we agree to sell, let's say in this hypothetical, we'll say at $30 at any time over the next one month. So $30 is called our strike price or the price we agree to sell our stock for. And the one month represents the expiration date and all options expire on the third Friday of the month. Now in return for undertaking this obligation, that obligation, of course, is to sell our stock at a certain price by a certain date. We're going to receive or capture a premium, and in this hypothetical, an average premium might be $1 per share or $100 for the 100 shares or for the contract. Now, this represents a 3.6% one month initial return. Now, there are two possible outcomes. One, the stock price may remain under $30. The other, the price of the stock will move above $30. So let's take a look at each possible scenario. If the stock price remains under $30, the option buyer will not exercise that option. Because why would the holder of that option choose to buy our shares for $30 when they can buy it at market for less? In that case, we keep our shares plus the option premium, which we keep under all circumstances, and now we're free to sell another option the next month on those same shares. In this particular case, our one-month return would be 3.6%. Now, in the other possible scenario, the price of the stock moves above $30. In this case, the option buyer will exercise the option and buy it for 30 and thereby generate a profit if the price of the stock is above 30. Now, as we progress with these videos and further into the course, 
you'll see a way that you can actually avoid having your shares sold if you choose to and that will be in the lesson on exit strategies but in this case let's assume now that we do allow our shares to be sold at the agreed upon sales price of thirty dollars we then receive an additional two hundred dollars profit from the sale of the stock remember we bought the stock at twenty eight and sold it for thirty and there were one hundred shares our total profit in this case is one hundred from the sale of the option plus another two hundred from the sale of the stock for a total of three hundred dollars that represents a ten point seven percent one month return now I am not here to tell you that there is no risk in this strategy I'm here to tell you that there is some risk let's call it low risk the risk is in the stock money can be lost if the price of the stock declines by more than the premium collected in the preview example we just gave we bought the stock for twenty eight and we generated a one dollar premium so our break even is twenty seven dollars if the price of the stock goes below twenty seven we could start to lose money and that's the reason why stock selection and management of our positions is critical to maximizing our profits for covered call writing and we're going to get into all of that in future videos so to summarize lesson one covered call writing is a conservative cash generating strategy it combines two strategies stock ownership and option selling and stock selection and position management are two skills that must be mastered to achieve the maximum returns when using this great strategy in lesson two we're going to discuss option basics Thanks for listening, everybody. Take care.